One of the state's largest school districts is finally set to announce reopening plans. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli is live at SciFair ISD this morning. Vince, what do we know so far? Lisa, good morning. The first day of school is being pushed back to September, and today the district is releasing details of their in-school and remote learning plans. Today, SciFair ISD's back to school plan will be released with details regarding on campus and remote learning, including instructions for parents to select which method they prefer for their student. Uh, and we're also preparing uh, for a much more rich and robust uh, virtual uh, platform. Schools will be deep cleaned, have hand sanitizing stations, and everyone must wear a mask. I think they're taking the steps in the right direction. I do feel pretty confident in what I have heard so far, and I, I trust our school board, and I think they'll, they'll come through with the right decisions. The school district says parents have until August 5th to choose the method of instruction for their student, then August 10th is the deadline to change their previous selection. Is there an easy answer? Uh, we would lay it out for you and everybody would be happy. In a Facebook post, the district says, in accordance to Judge Hidalgo's latest order, all school-sponsored activities, including athletics, band, and clubs, are banned until September 8th, which is the first day of school for the district. Many unhappy, one mother writes, unfortunately, this school year is going to be full of extremely tough choices for every parent. Having a backup plan for a sick child is the only way to keep our schools open. Otherwise, we look forward to homeschooling all year. No one wants that. Protecting our school system is priority one for our kids and their future. This year will be full of hard parental decisions. Now, initially, the first day of school was scheduled for August 24th, but the district did push that back to September 8th to observe COVID-19 conditions. Reporting live from SciFair ISD headquarters, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.